All right, hopefully I will not get locked out. Let's, let's try this. Hi, welcome to my house. back to my youtube channel this week i'm showing you my house here's a little bit of background i live in olympiadorf which is where the olympics took place here in munich in 1972 and basically they renovated all the places that were for athletes and they gave it a student accommodation so it's subsidized by the government so it's way cheaper and they're just basically small apartments for students I am very lucky, I live in one of the bungalows, so my place is two floors, a little terrace as you will see now, and it is the whole thing 18 square meters, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it's very cozy and it's very nice. So let's get to it. Here is my kitchen, which is the first room that you walk into as you walk into the house, and it's a small room, but it's also like the chilling area, I guess, if I don't want to chill in bed. So it kind of has like a multi-purpose function and it's very cozy and I really like it. Here are the wardrobes. Here's my closet basically where I keep all my clothes. And I think it's super cool because they are actually the stairs. So you're not wasting any space. And I think one of the best things about this place is that they really didn't waste any space. Like it's really thought to maximize every single square meter that it has. And here's where I clearly eat alone because I only have one of the serving thingies. But it's just a tiny table and it's cute and it's functional. And if I have friends over, I will have more plates out. But it's just usually I'm by myself. So this is what I have. This is my bathroom and as you can see the lighting is terrible but I will show you better in the clips but it's a very small bathroom the tripod doesn't even fit inside so I'll quickly show you and talk about it in a clip right now here is my bathroom also a very interesting room here I have my towel I have my little thingy hello that's me Hello. Anyway, here are, oh, those I got for Christmas. I'm so excited about them. I will let you know how they work, but I love Ritual, so really excited. The shower's fine. Bathroom's not very interesting. I do have to keep my mop in here because I don't have anywhere else put, to put it, basically. But oh well. And yeah, that, that is basically the bathroom. It's small, but it's functional, and you don't need anything else. And that's basically all of the downstairs area. So let's quickly go upstairs to see my bedroom and the terrace. The upstairs area, as you can see, has way better lighting. And that is because I have a massive window, which I'll show you in a second. But I basically never have it open because it means that I can see like my neighbor. Like basically I'm living with my neighbor because they're so close. It's literally like probably what two meters apart it's like it's like that movie like three meters apart they don't even need like I could jump to the other balcony if I really wanted to basically this space it's smaller because basically downstairs it's nine square meters in here it's about half the size I would guess just because there's the terrace and everything which also counts in the 18 which I don't know how much use it is for Munich where it snows but you know it's a nice addition during the summer during september it was nice to have it i had a lot of friends there but i don't know whether it's truly worth it although i do think it's something that people find very valuable sorry i keep peeking outside because you can see all the people passing by and staring at me and it's making me anxious <laughs> so yeah let me quickly show you around if i just pull the camera down you're in my bed <laughs> i got this Terrible pillows. Do not recommend. <laughs> They're from Ikea. They were like the cheapest ones, but look at them. Why are they so big? And there's like no pillow in here. It's terrible. It's like four times the size of my head. This is my table, my work table. I have my bullet journal for this year. 
that I finally started. If you follow me on Instagram, you would know. But if you don't follow me, feel free to do so. I will leave all my social media down below, even though it's probably only Instagram. So if you want to chat, um, I do love answering messages and getting messages. So feel free to do that. And yeah, this is just where I do work. Most of my work, I do it up here uh, with like tea, whatever. It's just a nice place to do it because it can get really like relaxing. And if I really need to work hard, I do it downstairs just because the bed is just too close. It's too close to be able to concentrate. And finally, this is my terror. It's so I have a little painting behind me because you're able to paint your bungalows whichever way you want, which is really cool. There are some really cool designs around. I'll show you some. And basically the terraces are really small, but they're really cute and they're very functional. I'm trying not to speak very loudly because you can hear absolutely everything when you're upstairs. But yeah, I was thinking of painting my bungalow, but I don't know what to do with it. So leave down suggestions of things that I could do with it because I really want to leave my mark before I go. I think it's a really cool idea that you can just like say, Oh, I lived there and I left like a little piece of me there. <laughs> All right, guys. So that was my house tour, my little bungalow for this year since I'm an Erasmus student here. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you like my tiny house. Also, feel free to subscribe to my channel because um, it really means a lot to me. I just passed 100 subscribers, which I'm so, so, so excited about. And I'm uh, making a cake to celebrate that because it is cause for celebration and it has taken me a while to get to 100. So, you know, feel free to subscribe because it's really exciting. And yeah, if you like it, leave it a like, leave a comment, and I'll leave all my social media links down below so you can talk to me and I love talking to all of you guys I do get some messages and they're really sweet and yeah that's it <laughs> that's everything I had to say thank you